All right, everybody, we wanted to uh, make a QB breakdown today of Russell Wilson. I haven't done this in a while. It's been hard to get um, Coach Harding and, and Coach Fisher together since they've, uh, they've started doing much more football stuff, and the uh, season is almost underway, so I thought I'd just go ahead and make a, a quick video here. So uh, we got Russell Wilson here. Um, obviously, his, his mechanics are very interesting and uh, to, to everybody just because of the um, big name that he he holds, and um, also a lot of people look up to him in terms of being a you know smaller quarterback that want to have similar mechanics. So I wanted to talk about some of the things that he does um, really good, and then you know some of the things that I always talk about what you can improve on, even what muscles that he um, tends to use a lot of. So he he has an interesting delivery or, or release when the ball comes off his hand. It kind of really shoots off his hand there, uh, and it's really because he, and, and we've talked about this, especially with a lot of the times when we have these quarterbacks with really strong hand, or really strong arms, I should say, is they have the ability to really bring that that good, um, that really good pronation of the hand, and so he really is able to turn over that hand extremely well, and that makes it so he, he generates a lot of force because of that. Uh, he obviously he uses his lower body and he's very stable in that front leg. He doesn't have very much extension as he comes through. A little bit. I mean, everybody has some extension as you're transferring your weight forward. Uh, but the thing that you definitely can can focus on or to get better on would be to be able to bring um, that back hip through and not hyperextend. So right there, he's in a little bit of hyperextended position in that low back, and then he can't effectively get his hip all the way through. See how he, now he stops. Everything's transferring. Forward, 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 forward. Now he hyperextends right there, and then it stops his hips as he's coming forward. Uh, and that's more on like the out out throw. He obviously ends in a good position, um, but then you can see it a little bit better here from the back. Is when he's coming through, he gets that hyperextension of the back there, and he's really he's got a very very strong. Um, back part of the shoulder, rotator cuff, posterior shoulder, that makes it so when he comes through during this throw, he can make up for um, not being able to keep that core on and not getting full activation of the glutes because of how much he has in that shoulder getting up over the top. Um, and it had to come from years of experience and, and years of throwing, um, both in baseball and, and football, um, as well as you know, just having good overall muscle development. You can see his arm and shoulders are both very, very big and thick, and so he gets uh, a lot of his velocity from that and a lot of his power from that. And we can see that quick slant one more time. He's just leaning over a good amount with that spine, right? We, we're always telling people to get keep your spine in a good position and then rotate those hips around because you don't want to be leaning over uh, so much here. The, as you're coming through, that'll that'll decrease power for people unless they have um, strong spine erectors back here. And he has to have very strong spine erectors. Been doing this for a long time and, and has that same throwing motion. But overall, you can be much more efficient. You really want to have everything lined up: ball, head, uh, hip, and and even into the foot. Everything pretty lined up as you're releasing. But because he leans forward here, he loses. Uh, some of the power that can be generated out, out of the lower body, but he can make up for it because of how strong he is in the upper body and in, in the uh, in the upper shoulder. So uh, that's Russell Wilson and, and what he brings to the table. Again, really a strong arm and a, and a great athlete. And part of it is because of um, how much he has worked that that rotator cuff and uh, spinal erectors and really just the posterior chain, the back part of his upper body. Um, and he makes up for. Uh, the lack of hip activation during the throw with his uh, with those strong arms and and uh, strong upper body, strong trunk. So that would be uh, the overall breakdown. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to uh, to leave a comment. Thanks for watching. We want to do another video today, um, an upper body focus one. This is mostly for throwers, but it could just be for anybody with shoulder issues as well, um, just because of the shoulder exercise we're doing. You could use a dumbbell uh, or a, tie a band to some type of um, you know door or anything like that to uh, use as support here. And then also, you do not need the Eric's pad. I like to use the Eric's pad to challenge a little bit more lateral stabilization, but we're just going to be up here, and I'm coming 
up and across here. The shoulder exercise is called catching the ride. I mean, I'm trying to keep my shoulder blades back and down as I'm coming across to really get that lower uh, trap going as well as my serratus during the exercise. And then I'm also trying to challenge stability down in my ankles. So when I'm landing as a pitcher or as a thrower, I can still maintain good stability within that front leg while I can still have good activation of my posterior shoulder.